Sup guys, let's do this. <laughs> What is up you guys, Cloudy back again with a new reaction. This time we have everything wrong with Ruby Volume 3 in 10 minutes or less. Uh, this is by a YouTube channel called John Fox. I reacted to two of his videos before. Uh, on those two videos I had... Uh, I gave him my songs to use. Uh, he does like this, uh, he's really talented, he, um, he draws, he makes like uh, sketches and like really nice uh, pictures and fa fan art of Ruby uh, and, and uh, he, he used it to like Ruby music covers in the background and I gave him two of, of the songs I did for Ruby, season one and season two, the opening songs. And he actually added that to two of his drawings. I'm gonna leave a link to do those two videos in the description box. You can check them out if you want. Also, make sure to head over to his channel and check uh, check out his stuff. I didn't know that he did everything wrong with it. It's like a cinema sins parody type deal. Um, interesting because I know that he, he he's. Uh, He's uh, he's uh, he's a big uh, Ruby fan as I am, uh, so this is cool and he's really talented. So it's it's, it's nice um, to see what he's what he's done here. Um, this was suggested by a subscriber here, and uh, well, yeah, we're supposed to check this out. So uh, yeah, let's let's just get it. Let's see what's up. Together, we form Team Ruby. Roll credits. Wait. I still wonder why Osborne let me into the school early. Keep wondering, because it's never explained. Very cool and subtle shout out to Monty. Minus one sin. I wonder who's gonna win. Team Star. How could you know? They didn't even do anything to rig this battle. They seriously stopped the battle for this. You and I are Argos. It's the thing where we take our shields. Remember? Rooster Teeth acknowledges shipping. <laughs> crow drinks at the crow bar. Yeah, that was funny. Coat immediately disappears in the next cut. Oh. The government ants who are completely separate. Can you believe it? I'm are they not separate in Atlas? Greetings, Ruby Rose. I wish to thank you for taking an interest in my sister. What has Weiss been telling Winter that she would use this phrase? White Rose confirmed. They're the one responsible for Autumn's condition. Wait, isn't the Fall Maiden's name Amber? Yeah, yeah what did he say there? It smelled like my dad after a long day. It was him. This is obviously not a sight. And how did Mercury even smell crow from here? Thanks to our clever little friend. This screen implies that she's getting inside information from Ironwood. But how or why would he have access to the randomization process for the tournament? Also, if she could see all the information from the tournament here, she didn't need to send Emerald and Mercury to get the information from Team Ruby earlier. Sorry, Ninja, wins. Total annihilation. He clearly lost some HP here, so it's not total annihilation. You cut off the head of a King Taiji too, but now the second head's calling the shots. It was never established, but this is a King Taiji too. If you never <laughs> stop moving forward. Oh, all right, I'll remove a sin for that. You can either call him, beg for his money back, and explain once more why you want to study at Beacon over Atlas. She never does explain, and then doesn't fight back when she's taken back to Atlas. Discovering more I'm the Frigo's to putting a CL of Atlas! It seems like CL didn't do anything judging from this moment. You're of Team Ruby. Status? Questionable. White Rose definitely confirmed. Are we to assume that Penny's computer is shielded from magnetic corruption somehow? Computers and magnets generally yeah, don't mix. They don't. But I have a plan. A plan that is never explained. It's been precisely one minute, ma'am. Actually, it's only been about 50 seconds. It take you a while though, since you're so, you know, top heavy. 
Boob joke. Mid master disappears. A callous old man who refuses to leave his home. I understand that she needs to explain this for the sake of the audience, but she talks as if he doesn't already know the story. Like magic. So magic and dust and semblance are all different things? Why? Mm. We can fill you in on the details once we know you're with us. We are never filled in on the details. Ah, uh, it's quite simple, please. Instead of a bracket system, each round of finals will be randomly determined immediately before the match takes place. Wait a second. The remaining combatants will then fight their way through the final bracket. Considering what happens next, this is a very yeah, unfortunate choice of I course. called that as well when I saw the episode. If this is his aura being completely depleted, that shotgun blast should have knocked him out. But instead, he's up, and this happens. Yeah. Why would they disappear instead of continuing the fight if their goal was to get the Maiden's power? They clearly outnumber him. Our plan will be beneficial for both of us. Or one of us. Forcing a group into helping you has always ended well. One mind I can handle, but two is a stretch. She obviously affected Yang's mind here, but who was the other mind? It's never explained. You get to lay low until the end. We wouldn't want people to see you on your feet and have this all be for naught now, would we? He clearly disobeyed yeah. orders and returns to the scene of the crime. It's miraculous nobody caught him. So either you're lying or you're crazy. There's no other possible explanation. None at all. Let me guess. <laughs> She didn't say a word, did she? Yeah. We have a lot to talk about. Not a word. If you ever want to track it down, I think I might be able to help. That is still this fucking is bothering me. Again, and Yang seems to completely forget about this after this episode. Well, let's go back to the fairground. Uh. I'll leave another stuffed animal. Another? He's not even carrying one. I don't know. How can I help? Scene does not contain a lap dance. From Jean. You're not going to tell me. Why can't she just run back out the door she came from? It's right behind her. This is not a tragedy. Nobody recognizes her voice, even though at least the main characters have met her before. Yeah. First a dismemberment, now this. Yang didn't dismember Mercury's leg, just broke it. I need your scroll. Is the scroll not linked to the student? Why can Ruby summon her weapon from Sunscroll? Can anyone summon anyone else's weapon? Yes, so it seems. There's no reason why every Elysium Knight unit should be linked to the same network that would allow something like this to happen. Bunny Ex Machina. What could possibly be causing these explosions? The White Fang had no reason to lay any explosive charges and there's nothing else that could reasonably explode in those areas. If speed was Crow's goal, why would he drag his sack like this? This ship crashing stopped the rogue AI, but that implies that either the command to turn rogue needed to be constantly on, or that the soldiers are not autonomous. Either way, it's not tactically viable. I will make it my mission to destroy everything you love. Adam is a dick, period. His motivation is seemingly contradictory. I need to hear you say it. But why? Yeah. She already got in the pod. What if yeah. she said no? <laughs> if Jean had just done his job and guarded the entrance like he was asked to, this wouldn't have happened. Or it would and he'll be dead. To destroy, why did he only cut Yang's arm off instead of, say, cut her in half? Yeah. Also, what happened to Aura and Semblance? Yang's aura should have protected her. At the very least, her semblance should have kicked in before the permanent damage was done. Cinder does not stop them, even though they are obviously going to be a threat. Adam was ready and willing to kill. The fact that he doesn't for the sake of plot convenience is worth at least one sin. A whole series comes to this dramatic payoff for these two. Alright, minus one sin.
This elevator clearly has its support cables destroyed. There shouldn't even be a cable car here at all. I have a plan. And apparently you can communicate it without talking. <laughs> this didn't work once. Why did you think it would work if you tried it again? Cinder was clearly not aiming for the heel. Uh... This sucks! Why does her crown remain but everything else burn away? At least her boots and gauntlet should be left. Also, the writers are addicted to Pyrrha fans. And I saw Pyrrha! And Cinder! It was never established that Ruby knows Cinder's name. Yeah! I thought about that as well! It said that those born with silver eyes were destined to lead the life of a warrior. Oh, I guess I have to take back that sin from the first video. Fine, but I do so begrudgingly. It took two seasons after all. Wait, wait, how did you know what Austin said to me? Crow lampshades the question. No one outside of Vale knows what happened here. But it was broadcast all over the kingdom, right? The last thing people saw was Atlas attacking innocent people and grim destroying the city. So everyone outside of Vale saw the same thing. I love you. Oh, fine. <laughs> Jean's backpack straps go under his armor. This is a very inconvenient way to wear a backpack. And I can't wait to watch you burn. Who the f are you? Also, cliffhanger. Post credit scene. This was pretty cool. Huh. Nice. <sighs> Thoughts. This was pretty cool. Yeah, this was pretty cool. Uh, I've seen these uh, cinema scenes uh, before. They do them for movies and trailers, I think. Quite entertaining. Nice. Uh, Nicely done. It looks really good. Uh, a lot of stuff you didn't think about. Some of the stuff I did think about. You know, when I watch <clears throat> when I watch Ruby, I watch the episode the first time when I do the reaction to it. That's the first time I ever watched the episode. And then I just I, I settle down and, and then I, I watch the episode again. And sometimes I even watch it a third time. Whenever it's like something big happening, I, I like to watch it a third time, just, you know, pause here and there and think about what, what's next and stuff like that. That's, that's what is so fun uh, about Ruby, to me anyway, I think, because, um, I mean, it's, it leaves you speculating, it has a lot of, the show has a lot of heart, I think. Um, I used to think it was all about the fights, how smooth the animation was while Monty was doing it. I remember people being uh, ups not upset, but you know, kind of bummed out when the third season around there started because Monty wasn't doing the, the, the animations anymore. But hardly anyone, hardly anyone talks about that anymore at all. To be at all, to be honest during this last season because of uh, the, the story. It's all about the story. It's not about how beautiful the animation is or whatever. It's all about the story. Of course, the fluency of the animation is, is really important as well. It is. But the story is really good at the moment. And I think that that's why a lot of, a lot of people love it and come to love the show just because the, the story is awesome. So yeah, that's basically what I want, want to say about that. And uh, also I would like to encourage you guys to head over to John Fox and uh, drop him a like on this video and all his videos. He's, he's an amazing, amazing talent. He's super skilled at drawing and doing uh, fan, uh, what's it called? fan pictures or whatever of Ruby and other stuff. Uh, he's done this and he has some, some other cool content on his channel 
as well. Subscribe to him if you haven't. Uh, I, I'm subscribed to him. He's a cool, he's a cool guy. He's very nice and, and polite and, and, and cool. Um, I'm happy to help him again with another song in the future if he let me. And uh, yeah, leave a like at least. Be cool if you did that. Um, also, guys, let me know in the comment section what you thought of this. Me personally, I thought it was really cool, but it took the time to do it, and uh, yeah, good stuff, good stuff, for sure. Uh, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.